All right, so uh, another update. I just got uh, my boat back to our shop, and uh, hopefully the rain holds out. It's nice and warm, but uh, I guess it's supposed to rain tonight. So I'm out of storage now, which now rain's a problem. And uh, I'll show you what we're looking at here now. So here's my boat, my storage, and uh, we're gonna see what we can do about this uh, this tank. See if we can get her out today. I still got a little bit more work to do. I'll show you guys when we get inside the boat. I'm gonna go get some materials, and uh, hopefully the rain holds out a little bit. All right, so here's a little better view today. As you can see, we're outside now. We got it at the shop. So here's a little bit better view, different vantage point of where I'm at. And uh, so as you can see in the other video I got there, that's all dug out down to the bottom of the tank. So now I have to dig out these two spots here and here. And again, that's all dug out up there and around. So issue being here. So, uh, let's see if I get it here. so there's a bit of a fiberglass plug there. I gotta finish getting out. Same with this side over here. I gotta get that out, and then see if I can cut this foam right here. Got a saw to do that. There isn't much space there, so hopefully that doesn't go too bad. But here's a better angle of all that rot I have there. So you can see that backboard was rotted out, and uh, this this two by two here just completely gone so i have to fix all that no big deal no big deal this side's all good nice nice good lumber there so i'm going to give you guys a small update today and i'm also going to kind of go over some of the things i did to the boat before um the fuel tank problem so some of the things i've done to this boat so it had absolutely horrible bottom paint so we got that all fixed up and it looks nice uh trailer worked on the trailer a little bit it was a little rough it's a great trailer it's an eagle triple axle nice trailer need new tires so we got some new tires on it also right here gotta replace some of this stuff but that's not done yet so uh as you can see over there is my bimney top i worked on it a bit today because it is outside and the weather's rolling in and I want to make sure I want to keep this as dry as possible. So, name of my boat there. Oh. So, I did also change some of these to LEDs. This one, not as high quality as the original one, but it is LED and the original one wasn't working. Also, I changed over some of the speakers. Uh, they were blown. And as you can see, this boat, for being an old girl, it's in pretty good shape. The leather's all original, really good shape. Except for that. Never mind that. So, I'm going to give you guys an update of what actually is down here. So, uh, that's a new bilge I put in last year. Which might be garbage now because of the fuel leak problem. But, small update. I was able to get that uh, fiberglass and plywood plug out of there. And dig some of that foam. So, I also uh, got a saw down in there and I cut that foam. And I was able to dig some of that foam out. So that's pretty much all I did today other than work on the bimney. I, unfortunately, I do have some hoses there. Like up in there, there's a hose for the step. That is off. And I'm a little worried about it being outside. I do have it back on for now, but it's not totally tight. So, yeah, this is where we're at. Some things I'm going to go over. Just kind of going to show you what I did. So I also had, when I first bought this boat, at a fuel level, uh, the fuel sending unit. My apologies while I crawl out of here. Fuel sending unit. This boat has video gauges. And uh, if that fuel sending unit, which is right there, is not working correctly. Yeah. Uh, and off, unfortunately, video doesn't really offer a lot of help. So I had to change that fuel gauge there. And a new sending unit. Find one that's uh, right there. Find one that uh, works for this boat and the depth of the tank. So that's something I did. Also, I cleaned up the leather quite a bit. I mean, the leather was in great shape, just a little dirty. Also, the captain's seat was just flopping around in here. So also, cheap ship to shore. Don't care. Works great. 
That's all I need. Also, I put an ampl amplifier for those speakers down there. So, uh, some other stuff I did. <coughs> Excuse me. So, I also cleaned this bilge. Or, sorry. Cleaned this cabin. But, as you can see from doing all this work down here in the aft cabin, all the stuff is now there on my bed. So, I'm going to have to do a bunch more work. Cleaning this out. And, uh, also, I wanted to update some of this stuff. Update the cupboards. Update the... the um upholstery in here but that was my plan for this winter up until i found out that i had a fuel leak so right now that is top priority and it looks like uh stuff like the bimney cover the uh, vinyl and all that stuff is gonna have to wait also i replaced that deck there wasn't anything in this in here and uh this one's cheap deck marine rails are a little more expensive so i got this one i had to make it work there was actually a tape holder or something here this boat's from 89. So <laughs> there's a tape holder here. <clears throat> so I removed that, made that work. Uh, I'm gonna have to fill this in later. But as you can as you know, my fuel leak is my main problem. These speakers are also going. Same with this. Um, what's the word for? Super tacky mirror. That's gone too. But all that stuff's gonna have to wait till I get that thing out of here. So, that's my update for now. Um, like I said, hope, hopefully, hopefully I'm able to work on this boat more now that I'm home. And uh, I'm home more often. My project's near. And uh, I'm hoping to get this tank out in the next few days. So, I get the tank out. I'm going to go to a guy that we work with, get the tank welded, whatever needs to happen. Figure that out. Um, get the tank back in the boat, start getting the stuff back in. I do have some, I'm going to, this gives me a chance to redo the aft cabin. So uh, there's, um, a product that's like a white plastic. I'm going to put that in there, kind of brighten it up, clean it up. Um, so that's kind of what's, what the plan is so far. Hopefully it goes quicker. Also, this is an old boat. Uh, there's some other things I did too, like some of the hatches leaked and this and that. Those don't leak anymore. But uh, it's not going to really matter if I can't get this fuel tank out. So hopefully I get the fuel tank out here pretty soon. And I can clean this boat back up because it is absolutely disgusting. And it's irritating the hell out of me. But uh, yeah, so this is where we're at, guys. You guys have a good weekend. Bye.